Well, if there wasn't enough complaining, there's more New York Comic Con exclusives coming. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and cats. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Couples have toys and jumps on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel long, we hunt together. Yes. <laughs> More exclusive? Holy sh! Okay, but did Funko say so? Well, no, but Funko Pops are surfacing with the sticker, the okay, New York Comic Con sticker. So but, it um, seems like there's going to be Funko Pops for like a part two, almost like they did with FunCon. Why are you making that face? You're like a confused detective. So what do all these photos mean? Well, it means that these Funko Pops are going to show up at some point. We just don't know when. What if? They show up tomorrow. That's a Sunday, Heather. That'd be fucking crazy. What if Funko does a lottery for these pops? Holy b Do you think that'll shut all those fucking people up? I don't know if it's gonna shut everybody up. We're sure that people are gonna want answers from Funko. Funko, we need to know what happened here. And an apology. And a statement. Apologies usually come with a statement. No, they want both. They want an what apology the and a statement but they're usually the same. And they want to be paid out so they stop writing their f***ing blogs. I'm angry because Funko didn't let me buy their things! Funko needs an answer for their crimes! Well, before we get into the discussion about those new New York Comic Con Funko Pops, which I can't wait for, Heather, we're gonna unbox the Shang-Chi box. Didn't you think we are gonna talk about Patreon? Well, we're not. We're gonna open up the Shang-Chi box from Marvel Collector Core. Here's the most mediocre Marvel Collector Core box yet! Oh my god, where's its face? And look at this mediocre t-shirt! Actually, that shirt's pretty f***ing awesome. That really is. Why does she have a rope? Is that like an arrow? Did you not see the movie? No, you didn't invite me. F***! This looks like a bug to me, but I don't think it's supposed to be a bug. Heather, it's a dragon. That's a dr That's a... Yeah. Shang-Chi! Xiling! Their brother and sister! I thought this was a fighting movie. It was a fighting movie. Look, he's fighting in a fighting pose. Look, she's just f***ing standing there. Because she's bad Shouldn't she be fighting? This box is so mediocre! Okay, seriously, where's its face? Uh, it doesn't have one. They don't explain it in the movie. How does it it's see? Just, it doesn't. It has wings and it flies and it runs. How does it know it's not flying or running into something? It just knows stuff. Does it see out of its butt? Okay, don't be silly. Now, this is the part where we talk about our Patreon. Head over to patreon.com slash castlecast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. Yes, you, my friend, can support the channel very big ways. In every video, we'd like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. And in this video, we'd like to shout out to... Aaliyah Levon, Derek Travance, Terry Jackson, Mr. Tactile, Cliff Demzik, Ismail A., Carl Seaton, Yvonne Vidal, Cody Pace and Laura Maxey, and Sean Mancino. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys are awesome. All right, so the Funko Pops we've already talked about are Cad Bane and Aang from Avatar. But now there are six more Funko Pops that have spiked up out of nowhere that could possibly be for a New York Comic Con Virtual Con Funko event part two. The six characters that were leaked are as mediocre as Chris's Shang-Chi box. Okay, there's a Transformers pop in there. Okay, but do you like it? He's okay, I guess. Is he mediocre? He's, He's f***ing mediocre, yes. All right, so we have Superman Blue. I have no idea what that is. He's really cold. And then we also have John Lennon with the New York City shirt on. He's in New York City, obviously. Stupid sexy Flanders. He is so sexy, but he is and um punchline from Batman. I have no idea who that is. Oh yeah, she's like a hair stylist and then she punches bad guys. That's her what she does. You can okay, tell by the colors in her that's hair. That's made up. No, it isn't. 
Read a book. Punchline is a supervillain introduced in DC Rebirth, created as the henchwoman to Joker following his falling out with Harley Quinn. She serves as his underboss and partner in crime to the clown prince of crime. They didn't mention anything about her Nothing about the hairstylist stuff. No, I'm not seeing that. That's what she is. She was a student at Gotham Snyder College where she was infatuated with the Joker. You don't know anything. I know everything. You can go to college and be a hairstylist. And then there's there's tracks from Transformers, and I'm going to be honest with you. As a Transformers that is fan, a train I don't track. know. No, it's not. Yes, it is. He's not and a train track. Chris, his name is Trax, and the train Transformer rides along. They team up and they do cool Transformers. Trax is a total narcissist, according to his Autobot buddies, but surely they're just jealous, since no one else turns into a sports car as stunningly stylish as his. Not to mention his flight mood, which lets everybody ooh and ah over his elegant curves and paint job as he glides about looking down on them all. This is literally from the Transformers wiki. You must be reading the wrong one, because that is definitely not Trax. He's a car and airplane, Heather. Get over it. And last but not least, Geralt from Witcher. This one's coming from the Netflix TV show. All the other ones were from the video game. Basically, he is a witch named Geralt, but a warlock, but the show's called Witcher, so that's just what he is. I honestly don't know much about Witcher, but I'm pretty sure none of what you just said is true. Geralt is a fictional character and protagonist of the Witcher series. Of the witches. He is a magically enhanced monster magically hunter known as a witcher. A witch. Who also possesses supernatural abilities due supernatural to his mutations. Witch. Yeah, that's too much. It's just Geralt the Witch. Warlock. Warlock. That's the guy witch. No! All right, so the big question is, when will these Funko Pops drop? The second wave of the FunCon Funko Pops dropped, what, like a month later? Mm -hmm. So could it be a month later from now we'll finally see these Funko Pops? It's really hard to say because things are having a really hard time Ooh. shipping right now, and there's a lot of delays and cancellations. Hear me out. What? If these are so delayed that it doesn't even make any sense for Funko to do a part two, and they put all of these pops up at different retailers as just exclusives, or they peel all the stickers off and put new stickers on them and say, here you go. That's a lot of stickers they have to peel off, Heather. Remember when the My Hero Pop was supposed to be Hot yeah, Topic exclusive and yeah, then it was NYCC yeah, exclusive? I know. Yes, but what if they do that? Well, they might not have stickered them yet. I think that we'll probably see these a month from now, but I I think they'll also do an online drop on Funko.com and shared retailers. All right, so Superman Blue, John Lennon, Stupid Sexy Flanders, Punchline Tracks, Geralt. The Witch. Cad Bane and Ang from Avatar. That's eight more Fungo Pops, plus the 30 or so things that we've already gotten from New York Comic Con. Is this just the tip of the iceberg and we're gonna get a lot more for New York Comic Con? I don't know why you're asking me. I don't have an answer to that. It's a very good possibility. Who knows what's gonna happen? I wonder if they're gonna give us a three day waiting room this time. Oh my God, I wanna wait for three days. Oh no, one day, two. 45 minutes, four days. Are you excited? No, I'm not excited. I am excited for the comments. I am not excited if they release something I like and to wait in that stupid line again. What is your favorite Funko Pop that we discussed in this video that's coming up for New York Comic Con part two? And what was your favorite part of the Shang-Chi box? Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. Head over to mysterygrail.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern to buy your own Mystery Grail box. That'll include a pop, candy, and a scratch-off ticket where you can win prizes and points from mysterygrail.com. Head over to mysterygrail.com today. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.